Hey guys. Get that. Cassie found something here. It's the size of a nickel. A buffalo nickel. Give me the buffalo juice. Oh, I got to keep digging some more here. Let's see what else we can get. I found myself a bucket lister. I got a crotal bell. It's a weedy. You found a weedy? Yes. Sweet. A Walking Liberty 1943 half dollar. Oh my God, it's freaking gorgeous. You got an Indian? Oh my god, Cassie got an IHP. Needless to say, I am a happy camper. Good morning, everybody. It is a gorgeous day. As you can see, I'm back out in my farm field permission. Uh, it's a bit windy and cold this morning. Uh, it's like 28 degrees, 29 degrees, something like that. And the wind's making it feel a little bit less. Got my first coin find this morning. Unfortunately, it's just a regular old dime. But I've only been here 10 minutes, so let's see what else we can find today. I'm hoping it's going to be a good day. I'm excited about tomorrow, though. I've got a new permission tomorrow that's going to be, hopefully, absolutely fantastic. But let's see what we can find today. Hey, guys, I might get a little bit of wind noise here. I'm trying to get my glasses on in uh, some way that I can see. <laughs> <laughs> and the wind's blowing them closed as I try to open them. Uh, good enough. It's been... It's been one of those days. Hang on a second, let me get my glasses on. Okay, there. It has been... 9 o'clock this morning is when I think I did my first uh, opening video. It is 1.10. So, there has not been a lot of signals. I finally, I switched over to the fish. I think I've walked probably five or six miles at least. Uh, covered a lot of uh, field. And I switched over to the fish to hit up a little area here. There's some low spots, see, around these depressions. And I decided to hit the uh, area up with the fish because it gets in amongst all the junk. I think I just found something halfway good. Let me show you. Can you see it down there? It was only uh, about that deep, three inches deep or so, but it's a ring. Check that out. And it looks old. Might be like an old brass ring. Look how gorgeous that thing is. Brass or copper or something like that. Gorgeous. This sucker is old. This isn't a kid's ring. This is a This is the real deal here. Look at that. I'll have to see if I can uh, clean it up and get some markings out of it, but I doubt this is going to be marked. This is gorgeous. This is an awesome find. This kind of saves the day here. Cuz I was striking out. Wow, can't wait to get this in home and clean it up a little bit. Let's get back to it though. Guys, I'm happy and I'm sad at the same time. It's been literally two minutes since my last signal, since I got that ring. Remember in the last episode, the gun piece that turned out to be the butt plate that we thought was the trigger guard piece? How amazing would it be if I could find the other piece, the trigger guard? I I'm pretty sure I just found it. The only problem is it was bent and I tried to carefully bend it back into place and it moved about a millimeter and just snapped right in half. So I should know better than this. I, I should kick myself, but <laughs> let me show you what I got. There she is. This I think would have been the part where the trigger was. And then this is that little decorative piece back behind it where like your finger fingers went into. I'm almost 100% positive that's what that is. <laughs> this would have slotted up. See this little slot piece right there? That would have slotted up in. Oh, oh my gosh. That is an awesome find. I'm so excited. The fish strikes again, I tell you what. This is a beast of a machine. Let's keep going. Well, I'm pretty sure there probably was a house here somewhere. It just got a beautiful brass... This would be like your 
door pole, I think. Sure looks like it. It is gorgeous. Well, it's going to be. I, I think I might even shine this thing up. I, I uh, hit it with a shovel just a little bit right there. You can see that it's brass. This is heavy. I could really hurt myself with this. <laughs> but I like it. Let's keep going. This is the permission that I was so excited about. This is uh, used to be the Red Brick Inn. The main part of the uh, house there, the two-story part. And I think the red brick portion here that was added a little bit later perhaps was originally built the first the main part of the house was built in 1838 this is part of the it was a stop on the uh, Kalamazoo to Grand Rapids plank road and I've got permission from the owner to detect this it's uh, abandoned it was a restaurant and as I'm uh, looking around Checking the grass out, I see signs that somebody else has been here recently, so somebody's beat me to it and they didn't bother to get permission, so guys, don't be doing that. It makes us look bad. But we're going to try it anyway. I've, uh, I'm going after the low conductors because they got all the high ones. We'll see what we can get. Check her out. I'm out goofing around in a field right now. It's Sunday afternoon. I'm bored. Got all my projects around the house done. Father's Day is coming up. Unfortunately, this is not silver though. It's a copper ring. It looks like it's chrome plated because I can see some of the, you know, see it bubbling up there, peeling off. Still a cool little find. Let's keep going. Morning, guys. Ah, nice cup of coffee. I like it. I had this made that's a uh, metal detecting coffee cup it's pretty cool got that at Costco it only cost me like eight bucks or something um, Christmas gift ideas as you can tell it's the wrap up it was it was an interesting weekend um, set of hunts I didn't get a massive amount of stuff but the stuff I got was actually pretty cool once I got to researching it and finding out a little bit about what it was uh, and sometimes that makes up a lot of ground. That makes a big difference knowing that you found something that is significant. Um, let me give you a quick peek at what I've got here. There she goes. That's it. That's all the finds that's worth showing. Uh, found three golf balls out in the farm fields. Uh, somebody in the neighborhood's probably hitting them out that way. Um, got an odd mixture of stuff because I, I was at an odd mixture of locations. Um, old chrome trim from a car, a little Batmobile. I, I wasn't going to save this as just junk, but that is a large piece of somebody's bling jewelry. Uh, I just had to think, man, would you really wear that? I mean, this thing weighs a ton. If you swing your arm and it just wants to keep going. Uh, found a couple of old brass uh, washers or uh, something like that. Oh, my golf ball. Oh, there's another one over there. I found four, actually. Um, this had me confused for a bit. I didn't know what it was. It's a metal piece crimped onto a wood piece. I thought maybe a pointing stick or something, and then it dawned on me. This is like an old field tip arrow. It may be off of like a kid's arrow from, you know, 50s or 60s or something because this isn't real heavy. I don't think this would have been used for hunting, but that that's just cool piece. This is a piece of lead. It looks like a lead fishing weight that was flattened on one side that somebody turned into a little uh, wrist band or something. <laughs> uh, an old rivet. A uh, little button. There goes another one. Bye-bye. A -bye. Uh, piece of pottery, an older piece of crockware. Look at that. That's nice, isn't it? It's got a little band around the edge of it. Stoneware pottery. Wish I had some more pieces of that that dad ring that I found nothing special uh, it does fit I think this is part of an old buckle see this might be that little centerpiece there it still wiggles not sure I like it and I'm keeping it lid to something it's got a section missing there and this little band around here is a different material than the rest that's dimpled 
I don't know what that would have been to. If anybody knows, let me know. Um, accordion reed, that's really cool. Um, it got bent and broke, as you can tell. Old brass door knocker, very heavy. I did polish it up a little bit with a Brillo pad. Um, this had an old screw style, so it wouldn't have been excessively old. I think it might have found its way onto the property after what I think the area was worth. Some clad, got a couple of 65s. I haven't been finding 65s. I've been finding more silver than 65s. And I had to go and say something about it. Now I'm finding the 65s again. 1940 nickel, a couple of Wheaties. Last week, remember that butt plate that I found our last episode to that Kentucky rifle? Here's the trigger guard to it, and I'll put a picture up right here somewhere up in this area and show you. I did this last week too, thinking the butt plate was this right here, and then somebody realized the butt plate was just bent, it got hit. This unfortunately is broken. I tried to straighten it out. It moved a literally a millimeter and just snapped. It was just it was already weak from being bent anyway. I should have never tried to do that. I should know better. That's me. Uh, but this raises a good question. If I found the butt plate to the gun, that's one thing. Okay, somebody you know the butt plate could have come off or something. A screw could have got loose. Another one could have got you know, war because the other one was loose and it flopped off while you were trekking out through the woods or fields or trying to track down some game or whatever. But when you add in other parts of the gun, I've got the trigger guard here. Chances are more likely that this is a gun that, that, that was lost at one time. I don't know if it would have been one that maybe the stock got broke. I, I don't know. But this raises a possibility. What if the rest of the gun is still out there? This would have been an old flintlock style gun. What if that flint plate on the side is still out there somewhere? What if the barrel is still out there somewhere? That'd be awesome! So I really have to go back and hit this place up a little harder. The fissure is the only thing I've got with a small coil. The smallest coil I've got for my Garrett is the uh, factory coil. That's not small enough. I may have to get me a 5x8 or, you know, be maybe a good excuse for another metal detector too. Always room for more. My daughters, of course, went to the Macabre and decided, hey, what if somebody died out there and it, you're just finding parts that they died with, especially considering this next piece. And it is an interesting thought, but I don't think so. If I find old bones or teeth out there, I'm going to get a little worried though. So that next piece is the ring. Isn't that gorgeous? That is a brass wedding ring. Of course the brass is really old and tarnished. I gotta shine it up. Could be copper, but I'm pretty sure it's brass if I clean it up. It has an 18 stamped in it, and if you look real close, you can see the join mark right there. And as I posted that out on ID Me, everybody agreed that this is old. It probably was one of two things. I'll say that I think you can see the 18 down there. This either was a rolled gold ring, and at one time this would have been covered in gold, and that 18 would have signified 18 karat gold. Or there were some scrupulous or unscrupulous, whichever way you say it. Um jewelers out there that would have made a brass ring shined it up really shiny and stamped it like that and said nope it's gold and sold it as a gold ring so not sure which but the history the thought behind it is just absolutely fascinating to me so that's it for right now uh stay tuned i do plan on getting back out in that field and doing a lot more detecting around the area where i found these pieces especially since the thought thought occurred the rest of those gun pieces might be out there um the red brick in place i do want to go back there i am upset that somebody hunted that i took the time to find the owner to call the owner to talk to him and find out if it was okay for me to be there and then went out there and found somebody had been there and I'm the only person he's ever talked to. So nobody had permission other than me to be out there. So 
like I said earlier, don't be doing that, guys. It makes us look bad. Take the time. This guy was just as nice as could be and said, go out there, have some fun. I hope you find something great. Um, I mean, if somebody would have just called the number posted on the sign, they could have been the one out there doing that and um, had full permission, and then I would have been overjoyed for him. So, anyways, that's it for this week, and I'll talk to you guys later. Let me know what you're finding.